Welcome to Enots Engineering, I'm Alan. In today's video I'm looking at my truck keys. I'm modifying them by turning some spherticals and putting them on the end of the handle of the key to make it more comfortable when you're tightening the trucks up. I have three different sizes to do. So let's go into the workshop and see how we do it. These are the three truck keys I'll modify. I'll take the bar out of the largest chuck key, start with that. And the first thing to do is to face off the end of the bar. I'll turn this down to 8mm diameter and about 8mm long. And while I've got the lathe set up, I'll turn that round and do the other side. Seven point nine five. I've just altered my tool to chamfer the end. This will give me a lead in for the die. Turn that around and put the chamfer on the other end. I've fitted an M eight die in my die holder. Slow the speed down, some oil. So once you've threaded both ends, and then go on to the aluminium. Tap in drill for eight millimeter thread. 6.7 and 8 millimetres deep. Bottom in tap, M8. Just remove a slight burr on the end. Just check that it will screw in okay. I've changed to a parting off tool and I'm just going to put an undercut at the end of the thread. That's to enable the thread to lock on the face. I'm using some 20 millimeter aluminium bar. I've run the die down it, produced the thread and put an undercut on the back so that when the rod tightens up it goes all the way down to the face. So now I can part that one off. Put some oil on it. I've fitted my radius turning attachment. Set my tool tip about 10 millimeters from the center line. And I'm just trying to get the part centred, 
Looks as if this piece of aluminium is a bit too small, but we'll see. So I'll start on this edge and make sure nothing hits the chuck. Coming on this side. Now in this corner, I'm right up against the edge, I'm touching the bar and the tip is as far in as I can go. I can back that off now. Bit of emery cloth. That's one ball done. I'm going to turn it round in the chuck and put the other one on the other end. There's the second one done. And that's two balls on the end of the handle and I made the other chuck keys exactly the same way but the ball diameter is 15 millimeters my brother's just sent me this video of his latest beam engine and he's running it in on compressed air Oh well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was useful and we'll see you next time on Enots Engineering.